seems like the way to live Who said I should be a big shot? Who said I should do you dick talk? I got a rest, I'm feeling so good In me I know it, but I'm misunderstood Feeling like that, well, they say it's a lie But I gotta tell ya, can live till I die I gotta... Alright guys, so this is gonna be the video that I'm just going to show you one of the updates on the detail stand and the detail setup and setting up in my garage. So this is actually the detail stand as you can see it's just the CAD drawing for now. But the top layer this is all made of white wood pine it's going to be painted in platinum gray Dutch boy exterior plus semi-gloss paint to try to protect it and keep the water and everything off of it. So the top one is a 2 by 10 plank board and it's going to have the vacuum reel it's going to have a hose uh, basically a low pressure filtered water hose reel up here next one down is going to be my air hose and pressure washer reel setups it's going to have a high pressure air and a low pressure air and then a high pressure uh, pressure washer reel the next step step down is going to be what's called my power distribution hub it's going to have a 15 outlet 12 10 or 15 outlet uh, surge protector based uh, power strip that's going to be a, the whole width, width that I can just plug miscellaneous things into it if I need to. Next step down from that is actually my foam cannon shelf. So that shelf's going to have all the foam cannons, the uh, basically like my snow foam cannon, my foam cannon that I use for wheel cleaning, that has my Adams polishes, uh, tire or Tire and wheel cleaner, all basically all in one. It's gonna have my spray foam wax from Greer's Garage. Basically, it's a foam on wax that you foam it on and then rinse it right off about 30 seconds later. It's gonna have basically different uh, foam cannons for different chemicals on there. Next uh, shelf down, we go from there. We go down to the air and water filter shelf. So this shelf is gonna have my air filters and my water filtration system to try to get the TDS down to close to zero or lower than what's coming out of the tap at my house. So what this is going to do is it's going to filter the water through a uh, basically a 5 micron filter and it's going to filter it through a KDF 1 micron filter that basically it drops the TDS almost by half. So my water coming out of my spigot's roughly about 158 in TDS parts per million basically. So when it runs through this filter, drops it down to about 75 parts per million, which helps out a lot with water spots and keeps darker color paints from basically getting trashed. But it's going to have a Y fitting at the end of it that's going to go into this tower, which is actually my, uh, gonna, I'm going to be getting it, which is going to be part of the same video, but a little bit later on, I'll show, I'll show you all the pieces and parts, what it's going to be. But this is going to be the Adams Polishes Pro deionized deionize water filter it's about 48 inches tall so it's going to sit here it's going to be piped directly up to here for the intake the exit's going to be piped directly into my adams polishes pressure washer down here this is the pro series one love it have never had any issues with it it runs great no complaints on it at all this is going to be a cyclonic separator the top of it's going to have what's called a dust deputy cyclonic separator 2.5 this is a solid metal, solid steel, five gallon bucket. I tried using the plastic ones. My vacuum's are way too strong. It actually collapses the plastic ones. Metal ones from everything I've read, they don't collapse. Right here is gonna be a rigid 16 gallon, six and a half horse vacuum that's gonna be piped directly into here. And the dust deputy from here is gonna have the intake up here on a 50 foot Cox hose reel from Syntec. It's a one and a quarter inch hose. Cannot complain. It's a two and a half, two inch hose directly up to it and it just sucks. This rigid vacuum from everything I found has the highest CFM and one of the highest uh, water lifts other than going into a whole house vacuum. So and then we step down from there from the chemicals or the air and water filters this is going to be my chemical spray guns basically this is what I use. I use automotive spray guns for different tire shines different uh like the undercarriage spray i use it for what's called my engines uh engine shine which is i actually use um 
what I use for the engine shine is I actually, it's rather weird, but I use silicon shine non-diluted in one of these spray guns. You spray it on, it just, it coats it perfectly, it aerosols it, and it just fills in any gaps. I also have my turtle wax spray or turtle wax tire shine. I have my Adams Polishes tire shine. I have two Chemical Guys tire shines on there, and I use a uh, Adams Polishes the undercarriage spray in an aerosol in the spray gun. Distributes it so much better and it coats it so much cleaner. Um, there will be more more chemicals added to that as I progress and get more familiar and use different chemicals. But this is the front view of the entire stand. This is going to be the side view of it. So it gives you a little bit more perspective of what it looks like. As I said, the DI water filter, it can be moved front to back. I just haven't set it where I want to put it yet. So it's it'll be put where I need it. But the hose from this to the pressure washer is probably going to run down here on the side. As I said, the power distribution, it's either going to be on that or bolted to the side. And I'll use that for something else. So this is the stand itself. So now we're gonna switch over to the floor plan that I'm gonna use. So here's the floor plan. This is basically roughly drawn to, uh, inch, inch by inch for the garage. So you get the main garage door at the front. This wall is gonna be built probably this spring or this coming summer. Trash cans, recycle cans, neatly packed over here. Garden tool storage, deep freeze, stairs into the house. This is a little overhang from my dad's office inside the house. It hangs over the garage and there's a nice storage area underneath that'll fit about five to seven totes, basically the blue, let's see, what are they, about 42 quart, 40 or 42 quart totes. They'll fit perfectly underneath here. This is gonna be a tool cabinet storage with, I'm gonna have a flat top on top of this. So this is gonna be a short cabinet so that I can have a little work stand. My toolbox, which is a uh, Harbor Freight, general tool series two with the 14 inch side cabinet on the side of it this is the oils and flammable cabinet so this is basically like oils uh sprays anything that's flammable or oil based goes in there like motor oil uh, and that kind of stuff here's the detailing cabinet the detailing chemicals cabinet it's going to have my my uh all my soaps all the extra chemicals i'm going to need that way i don't have to run up and down the stairs from the previous video you guys saw most of my chemicals are stored in my basement storage room but I'm going to turn that into basically my overflow for basically my concentrates only and all my spray bottles and prepped chemicals are going to be in this cabinet next step over from that is going to be my Harbor Freight 29 gallon central pneumatic compressor this thing is a beast guys it will do anything you want to throw at it without any issues at all and then that <clears throat> in the previous vit in the previous pictures i showed you this is the detail stand area where it's going to be it's going to probably come out in front of the door about maybe 12 13 inches so yeah it's it's good size but it's going to be there so now we're going to switch over to Now, I'm going to show, show you what vacuums we're going to get and all that kind of stuff. This is the vacuum we're going to get, guys. This is the rigid 16-gallon, 6.5-horse NXT wet shop vac. I'm going to have this thing. I've had rigids for years. No issues at all. They run great. CFM on this one, if I remember correctly. Where did it go? Let's go to product, product details. They move it again on me. Oh, come on, people. There we go. Finally popped up. So, yeah. This thing moves. Where did it go? 184 CFM on this, guys. This thing is a beast. It will move and pull air like nothing you ever need or nothing you could ever use again. It is decent size. It's roughly, if you take the handle off, it's definitely not 37 inches. It's roughly 24 inches tall. So I'm going to bolt that directly down to the top of that and we're going to put it right there. 
from there here's what i'm gonna get for the detail wheels and kind of stuff the adams rolling stand kind of on the price here side well built though here is the uh, deionized they call it the portable but 48 inches tall and this thing's not portable it's no change that it's 49 inches tall so it's definitely not portable it will be bolted it will be uh maintained down here is the pressure washer guys this is the one i run it is the adams pro series pressure washer no complaints runs great this i didn't haven't decided where i'm gonna put this on the stand yet but this is the uh air cannon i have 16 16 and a half foot hose runs great blows like nothing else it will dry a car nothing flat the hose reel that's gonna be bolted to the top it is on a cox reel comes with a few accessories 549 would recommend it cyclonic separator is gonna be bolted directly to the top of that metal bucket that i'm getting ready to show you guys from everything i've read dust deputy bulletproof Here's the locking seal lid for that bucket. And then here is the bucket. Given, you'll notice there's no hole in the top of this. I will have to drill a hole in the top of this to mount this to it, unfortunately. But at the same time, I'm going to put one of the temperature sensor on it because I have a uh, system at my house where I broadcast the uh, temperatures to the net, to the internet, so I can actually see the temperature in my garage in real time, right where it is. This is also a lightning detector sensor, so for instance, when I'm detailing, this starts going off, I shut everything down on that spot. I'm gonna get this hose to replace the one that's currently on my current shop vac setup with the cyclonic separator. This is, I'm trying to replace it. It's only got 28 foot, 28 foot worth of hose, and it's really becoming a pain. I know this is for pets, but this is going to keep the cabinet in my garage with the chemicals in it, probably about 60, 70 degrees all winter long. That way I can don't have to worry about retrieving chemicals or moving them to storage. This, on the other hand, this would be kind of nice because I'm going to bolt this in the ceiling in my tr garage to a, a stand I've got. And this will allow me to put my uh, trailer cargo carrier directly up there without having to store it anywhere. This is going to be the pressure hose reel I'm going to be using. It's uh, not too bad. 119 bucks, 150 foot worth of hose. I just got to get the hose. It's down at Northern Tool. I just haven't gotten it yet. So, guys, this is just an overview of what I'm going to do. And I will uh, update you guys as I keep... Alright, guys, I'm giving you an update with uh, part of this video. The uh, wood for the detail stand has been bought. Bought another tool cart. This one's going to be replacing that gigantic thing over there. And all of the stuff that's on it is going to be replaced up over here. That tool cart, uh, garden tools, Is gonna go somewhere over here and there's gonna be a giant wall built right there probably in the next year or so so detail stand going right about here that shelf is gonna be coming down compressor probably somewhere right in here Another one of them cabinets right there. So there's the toolbox. It's going to have the 14 inch extension on the back back over here. It's going to be another cabinet right here. And if you guys look way back in there, you can see the little overhang that I've got that will fit. those size totes without any issues over here guys and as I was showing you guys my current vacuum setup rigid vacuum cyclonic separator on top sorry about all the mess with the tools that's to start building this 
There is some stuff that's probably going to be taken out of here. Bike's going to go down to the storage unit. All my signs and shit are going to be bolted onto that wall. Adam's polish is sign. My uh, OC detailing LLC sign is going to be up there. My uh, Greer's garage sign that I'm going to purchase is going to be up here. Over here. Gonna put about a shelf or two right there without so I can store some extra stuff up there. Probably a shelf right in here too on this wall. Definitely putting because I said that's gonna be my workbench there. Definitely gonna be running maybe an outlet over to here somewhere. Definitely gonna have a two 20 amp breakers, one for the uh, compressor, one for the pressure washer. And there's gonna be power ran from here to here for the powder distribution hub, guys. Just a quick update, letting you know what's going on. I will keep you updated, bye. Thank you for watching, guys. Like, share, subscribe, do what you wanna do. But come back next time, and I'll see you again in the next video. Bye.